Hi, you guys. Damn, so much energy, guys. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another video. If you are new on this channel, hello. Welcome, my name is Tiffany, and if you are not, welcome back. How have you been? It's been a little, it's been a little while. I am going to be showing you guys how I do my natural makeup look, natural diva makeup look. So this is the final result. If you guys want to know what products I use, how I use them. But yeah, I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's, let's get on to it. Okay, so let's get it started. You, what I start off with, my eyebrows. I'm doing my go-to look. I start off with my eyebrows. So I'm using the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. This right here is literally my go-to. I love it. I'm obsessed. I haven't done one of these videos, you guys. I've been really wanting to do one, but just haven't done it. Okay, so. Starting off with my eyebrows. Honestly, I'm doing this last minute. Like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. You guys have been really wanting me to do a makeup look, and every time I post a picture on my story or a video on my story, you guys are always asking me what makeup I use. So, here I am. Okay. So, what I'm doing is like giving it that bushy eyebrow look Can you guys kind of see? this right here is so good like it really lasts for 24 hours the only thing I don't like is that obviously I clean like around it because the gel is super hard, so when I put foundation on it, it starts getting like white, if that makes sense. Hopefully it doesn't do it in this video. But yeah, I just clean it up. I'm going to be carving out my eyebrows with the Tarte Shape. It's a concealer. I'm using the 12 and Fair Neutral, so it's a little, it's more on the whiter side. So I'm just going to carve them out. Okay, and with the extra, I don't dip again. I go and this is a part that sucks because like I said, the gel, if I like mess around with the gel, it starts like getting white and stuff. So hopefully that does not happen. I don't know I feel like I feel like reason why I haven't made one of these videos is because like it just looks completely different on camera like it looks better in person if that makes sense I don't know that's that's what I think so now I'm just blending it with my brush oh by the way this I got it from the Morphe collection I don't know what collection I got it for Christmas this is how it looks like sorry it's a little it's a little dirty but this thing in the middle is just foundation I pack my makeup all the time so like in the makeup bag like it gets dirty let me like take this red that I have in the middle going on here just by carving it I did not apply any like any tint or, or anything this gel is clear gel like it doesn't have any tint of brown in it it's literally just clear just like the difference of carving your eyebrows out sometimes I don't even have to like put anything in my eyebrows I just leave them like that but depending on how the look goes because sometimes my natural look looks more on the glam side than the natural look if that makes sense so depending on depending on how I feel my eyebrows be looking like later on I'm gonna see if I need to add some but honestly they look good so I don't think I'm gonna add anything on them and if i do add anything i use the item brow chow ultra fine brow definer i use a medium brown i like gently go over it but like i said my eyebrows well this side of my eyebrow it looks good without putting anything on it so I, we're just gonna have to see if i want to add or not but i'm gonna do the other eyebrow off camera and i'll be back okay so 
So I'm done with my two eyebrows. Just blended it out with my fingers. For this makeup tutorial, I will be just using my fingers to blend. Like I said, it's like a more natural kind of look. So I'm just going to be putting it in the spots that I need. So moving along, I'm going to go in with my concealers. For my natural makeup look, I don't use foundation. I just use my two concealers. One is darker than the other one. The darkest one is from... Koki Professional E Bright Illuminating Concealer. This is how it looks like, and this is the shade that I'm using. It's blurry. I will be leaving all the description underneath. For my brighter concealer, I'm using the same one that I used for my eyebrow. Okay, so I put some in my inner corner and outside, put some on my nose, and then I put some, put some again like that. I'm gonna put it in my imperfections I put some make like a V again put some on my imperfections more like in the middle side some on my chin for some reason like my chin gets like really red like super red sorry I'm like again I'm not used to doing this and then put some I try to like even it out so wherever I'm putting it on on my left side I put on my right side it looks so funny right now and then I try putting some on my neck so I can kind of like blend it in for my neck now going on with the brighter concealer I'm gonna put some on my eye like the middle part some on my nose middle looks so funny <laughs> and then just somewhere here and then with my fingers obviously wash your hands blend so I just go in just blend I do not do this by the way when I'm going like full glam I don't know I just feel like when, when if you are using a beauty blender in my case like if I'm using a beauty blender I have to like set it with powder I have seen some makeup tutorials where they where they are doing like a natural makeup look and they do use a the beauty blender and then just set underneath the eyes but I don't know you guys I just feel like if I am gonna be using powder I need to like set under my eyes I need to like set everywhere I don't know that's just what I well my opinion okay so with what I have well, like I blended it underneath my eye and I just go on top I don't put any like concealer on top of my eyelid so that there won't be like a buildup so I try to just spread it around as much as I can okay so I wanted to I have seen a lot of YouTube videos about like recreating Cassie from Euphoria routine where she like wakes up at 3 in the morning and then goes crazy and does like extra things for her morning routine I don't know if I should do that I thought it would be fun you know I've never have recreated anybody's like look before so I do want to like try try it out learn some new techniques see if I like it so with the excess that I have on my finger I'm just like bringing it down to my neck so there won't be like a line I feel like this is important even if you're just doing like a natural makeup look I'm gonna be using my other middle finger it's so hard because I'm not left-handed so reason why I like using concealers is because it doesn't have as much coverage as the foundation and I'm not trying to go for that coverage look. It's so crazy because like I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm using my vanity lights and I look tan. But on camera, I look like a ghost. Okay, so now my nose. For now, I don't really blend out like the nose area that much. Like the tip. Because I do want to give it that like Betty Boop nose. Just went to go grab a napkin always have a napkin in handy when you're doing this because you are gonna be using your fingers so they're gonna be a little dirty so moving on to the next step eyelash curler my eyelash my eyelash curler my eyelashes are already curled but I want them curlier so here we are okay, you see, okay. 
so curling my eyelashes when I was younger I would like with the lighter go like this and then curl my eyelashes crazy I don't do that anymore don't recommend that so for mascara I have a shit ton of mascara you guys but I always go back to this one the so, like I said it's very it's old but I go back to my Maybelline if you guys don't know which one this one is I don't know I don't know what to tell you so this is my go-to mascara I've tried many mascaras I have many mascaras but I'll be using this one today I look down literally I have the mirror like this this is how I do my eyelashes or else oh wait I forgot to put eyeshadow so I took a break from eyelash extensions most of my videos like my that when I started YouTube I was wearing eyelash extensions I love eyelash extension you guys it made my life so much easier didn't have to worry about putting mascara didn't have to worry about buying eyelash glue because although it, although when you have long lashes I just feel like falsies just it's a look you know it's it's just a look it just it gives you that extra diva look you know okay so now that my eyelashes are done let's just go in with some eyeshadow just to see how it looks so this is not eyeshadow like I said if I'm doing a natural makeup look I'm doing it on the go so I don't like bringing a lot of makeup with me so this is a little small tiny bronzer it's called Ciate by London I don't know most of this makeup I get from Ipsy's I'm using the South Beach powder bronzer it's cute it works so putting some on a little bit and I feel like it like gives it gives it a look So just a little bit of that, a little bit more, and then on. just a tint of brown, that's it, and then with the excess I'll put literally here, just right here. You guys, this makeup brush from Morphe, it's Morphe M449, this is the one I use, I see. And for my brows, I am using a Pootie bronzer uh, since it is natural makeup look. I do not use any creamy, creamy makeup when I'm doing the glam look because I just feel like it looks too patchy. But since we don't have that much makeup on, like concealer on, going, going in. So yeah, I'm using the e.l.f. one. It's called the Honey Drip. Looks like this. And I'm going, I'm going in. Why not book her up? It's not too dark, but you can like you you can see it. Look. So I'm just dabbing it. Honestly, you guys, I'm so surprised. I, I thought you guys wanted me to do like a glam look, like you know, full on makeup look. But I had so many votes on a natural makeup look. I know this is not as natural, but I promise you guys, like, it looks natural. Like, I know that I'm putting a lot. Well, not really. Like, it just depends. Like, since I had a lot of um, imperfections going on in my face, I did have to add it to places that I needed it. So just blending it. Awesome. On my nose. Now I'm going with my Bobbi Brown Powder Pink. This is so freaking good, you guys. Like, it's so good. The color, everything, the texture and everything. So I'm putting this more. Look how, like I literally grabbed a little bit. Look how pigmented it is. Just blending it with my fingers. And then you can also use this, use this on your lips too. You just add a little bit. The look that I'm going for when I do a natural makeup look is to look burnt, okay? I want to look tan, I want to look burnt. 
I want to have that look, that sun-kissed look. So we're trying to go for that. Okay, so I do want to finish up my face. I'm going in with the bronzer that I, that I use on my eyeshadow. I do just want to like blend it in all together. But see how like looks more snatched with the powder. Just blending it. Now I know that I look blushed already, but like I said, I want to look like I'm burnt. Okay, so I'm going in with a powder blush. This one's a little busted because I bring it everywhere with me, but it's an auto bomb. Girl powder, cheeks on the go. Like I said, I'm always on the go. This, you guys, is my favorite freaking blush ever. I actually, I had one and it ran out and I got it from my mom. So I'm going in with this small makeup brush. I don't know where it's from. I think I got it from Ipsy once again. So just taking a little bit. Kind of like bringing it up and around so you can kind of have that look. Ah, ese pelito. Now that I'm done with the blush, I'm gonna go in with a small eyeshadow brush. This is literally just a regular, doesn't matter, you know, just small. And I'm going in with my bronzer back again. And I'm just gonna be putting it on my nose just like that I don't add anything else okay now for highlighter this I have a shit ton of highlighters you guys but this one right here it's so good like it's so good the tone is so good it's wonder beauty wonder wondrous glow this is how it looks like as you can see I use I am going in with this makeup brush has two sides it's for raw from conceal and set I know we're not using concealer but I use this so if you have a brush that's similar to this you can use that as your highlighter I don't know use whatever I used to use a fan but I don't know now I use this I don't know where my fan went. So I'm just putting it on top of my cheek and I put some on my eyebrow, kind of like this. Okay, and I put some on my forehead. I'm gonna be looking like a glazed donut. And I put some on the tip of my nose. And then a little bit on here, top of my lips what about my chin okay so far so good. now lips don't really do anything I do want to buy a lint tint a palette a lip tint uh, I've seen many if you guys know of any that are like really good leave it on the comments down below but I just go in with my regular Mac the diva if you guys don't have this diva color in your makeup kit or whatever you guys need it this is literally my go-to lipstick uh, for all the girls who ask, who have asked what lip color I use all the time when I use red dark red diva just dabbing it I really like how it looks when I just dab it Okay, so this is a finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I don't know, should I add some eyelashes to kind of like show you guys? Cause when I recorded myself with the natural makeup look, I did have some falsies on, but this is without falsies. This is how it looks. 
I did add a little bit more concealer underneath and then with the same highlight I put it in the inner corner of my eyes just to bright give it that like brighter look but this is a closer look Okay, so I decided that I wasn't gonna add some eyelashes because I do wanna keep it as natural as it can get. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, it was very last minute. I really enjoyed doing this. If you guys wanna see my glam makeup look, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and then comment down below if you want me to try any other makeup looks or if you want me to recreate any other makeup looks. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed again this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye, besos.